today we're going to be replicating a doorway okay so particularly this is a doorway of my home to my bedroom i wanted to also showcase the clutter that's uh all about so i could have taken out that cabinetry i could take could have taken out that vacuum cleaner in this case this is a welcome challenge we're going to be taking that doorway as a means of a sort of framework in order for us to achieve our drawing goal. And sometimes the students would, would actually think about taking a picture, printing it out and transferring the image onto paper. But that robs you the experience, uh, the opportunity for you to actually analyze the picture. But ideally, what you're supposed to do, be doing is to observe this in real life. So you need to kind of sit down and have a look and, and observe the angles, the proportions. And then later on, you will be doing the line work to this. So I'm going to be starting out with a an ana analysis of this. So I'm going to be, I'm, I'm going to analyze the picture. So the picture is, was taken with a three by four uh, frame. I'm going to be taking this as my three or ratio three. And I'm going to take that measurement here and make a, an equal. So I'm going to be using my fingers or even your pencil to actually measure and see to it that it's equal. So it's slightly off here. So that's the three. But then you can subdivide this into three equal parts. And that gives you the Q for the fourth, the fourth segment for this one. So it's a three by four ratio. I'm going to outline this much. So this is the ratio of this. Is it? Maybe. I would like to check if it's so. And upon checking, yes. So this is a three by four ratio of, even though I sort of like perceive this as not, but if you measure and compare, it's over there. And then if one third, yes, this is a three by four ratio, three by four ratio. So, and despite my, my perception of it not being a three by four, I'm going to follow the rules because this is the scientific way of doing it. I know for a fact that when I was taking the picture, I had a grid on my camera and I was with this uh, grid of thirds of where things were. So in this case, I placed the doorway edges somewhere here. Now I'm going to be deciphering the angle of what I need here. So I'm going to replicate so i'm going to be looking at the picture and where i start the ground line of this wall and i'm going to replicate the angle of that line of the wall with my pencil and then for the top side so it didn't go all the way here so it's going to be starting here for the door frame i'm going to replicate that angle by using my pencil Transfer that and doing this. So this is the start of the framework of something that you, you want to draw. You want to um, replicate or draw from observation. And usually you can use the viewfinder for this and, and, and hold it up like so. And with a very, uh, with, with a straight arm and then you look at what you're trying to observe. Moving on is that I will be looking at the details or the lines of the framework and all of the other details actually. Here I'm, 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 I'm observing and looking at where the bed is supposed to be. So here I have a ceiling line is that bed and there's a chair somewhere there. The corner of the bed is this. So I'm roughing out or ghost lining what I am observing. And then there's a curtain. Look at the shape of that curtain. This is the chair. 
with that and then there's the vacuum cleaner there's the picture frame somewhere here so it's following that angle here so it's in perspective actually so it's for shortening okay so you need to observe this these these angles very exact there's a picture frame is it the same electric fan is here and it's this shape okay something smaller so I'm ghost lining these things. I'm not going to be erasing anything. So I rather want to show you that it is achievable. It is something that you can do easily. Okay. And so this is another wall that is tapering here. But in reality, you could, you could make that into a vertical if you're doing this from observation then here. So the only reason why I'm, I'm showing you this, I'm demonstrating this with a picture reference is because obvious reasons is that kind of difficult for me to show you how I'm doing it in real life. So this is the next best thing that I could do. The electric fan shape. I'm just looking at the shape and something like this. So you could start out with, with a, a ghost, a ghost lining. This is what we call ghost lining or even on a practice page. I could refine this further by by adjusting what I see that is correct, creating that. So this is a th this is a, a way to start out your drawing. Uh, things to keep in mind is is really the angle, the proportions, and so the, you don't have to resort to tracing or printing this out to just transfer it onto paper. It gives you a, a good training of being able to draw what you see rather than draw it later at home. Or worse is is just really relying on on pictures um, just to draw something, and then you move on to later on in the shades and shadows. You can start doing the the shading. Of course, do a better job than than what I'm doing here, but uh, I'm, I'm just for the sake of just demonstrating this and the like. So this is just the thumbnail, and then of course the real thing would be later on be created here. So my advice is really to observe this from reality and you can see more details than a picture. You can shift your head and, and have a look at the details much closer or is there something that you don't understand and you can just shift your head and look. And, and those are one of the great reasons why you draw on site because uh, those little tiny things those questions cannot be answered by just looking at photographs no matter how much photographs you you, you take you can't really substitute it for the real thing and that's why there are artists and architects even who go on trips and they they still sketch while even though they have a camera in their pocket they, ha they have a camera and on their phones and yet these are rudimentary things that they do because they want to observe they want to take in the scenery they want to take in the details they want to observe touch the building touch what's what's there and the scenery the the the, the people that they observe um, the things that are there and hoping that you know um I'm, I'm trying should be discouraged in just tracing out from pictures or images by printing or her or worst case uh you're you're putting it underneath something and then this is really a, a powerful tool and then you can sketch out anything in a matter of minutes rather than take a picture Put it on the screen, store it somewhere. You have to rely on just looking, or and you have to be at home. And you, you <laughs> so when when the time comes when when we finally can can go out often, this is the way to to actually do it. And we, I start doing all of this. Even the grids, for example, of the flooring, can be replicated by observing where where things are going. So I'd, I'd like to see that being done with drawings. So as you can see, 
I'm starting out to to really detail this. Okay, that's it for for how you would would start out in in doing doorway sketch like this. Hoping that you learned something, and thank you for watching.